This is the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin uh, usage in my demo. And I found it to have some similarities to Beaver Builder. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if I edit the page itself, I'll notice again, it does take over the block editor uh, as a block, which is nice because then I can uh, see that there's an interface here <laughs> and then I can go click to edit it and it'll open it up. And then inside of the editor, I'll see the view very similar to Beaver Builder in the way that that works. The differences that I found were, it depended on a couple different things, but uh, one area here was, was the way that these things are dragged around. It was harder to drag certain things around. Uh, but if I went to go click edit, uh, you'll see here on the left, I'm just using a, a post module and you can choose layout and stuff. You can choose uh, the query. I chose to use the, the source of the books there. And, um, but I wanted to just show the first one. I just wanted to say uh, just that one ID, but it was difficult to do that because I wasn't able to say I wanted to include by that one post. So, so there was a, a problem here. I had to work around this in a way that just said, show me the one post per page and show me the most recent. So this is a complete workaround. This is not really the fantastic way I was hoping I would be able to do with Elementor. So that was, that was a letdown. And then when I went into the um, Elementor section here, um, this is using a widget. So I had to fall back to using widgets. Uh, something with a, a single item widget was built in uh, for pods. So I just used that widget and it works perfectly in the same way that the other ones would work. So that, that was a, a big caveat for, for pods uh, um, integration here. I was able to use that, but I wasn't able to use the Elementor interfaces to just show one item or just say, I wanna show this one item by this ID. It was very difficult to do that part. ACF did the very similar thing. I didn't show the pods widget be used, but uh, that I was able to get that to work there. The singular view inside of Elementor is, is, is quite nice. Quite nice actually. Um, you can go into edit it and uh, let's go ahead and look at the editor itself. So when you're looking at the editor, you can look at the inter interface and you can enter information in. You, it supports blocks just like um, Beaver Builder, which is super nice. I can add blocks and content into my, con uh, my, my actual template. Uh, but if I look at the editor here, I can insert a post title. This works very similar to the way that um, some of the other stuff worked for Beaver Themer, uh, where you connect items. Uh, I'm showing a, uh, let's do this. So you can click this dynamic tags right here, and you can choose to show something like a post title or whatever you might have. In the case of ACF, there's ACF fields that show up here. There's also pods fields. And uh, this is all managed by, uh, by Elementor Pro itself. So this is an Elementor Pro feature, I believe. Uh, and you have to choose the, the setting here. You have to choose which field it was for. Uh, it was author. And then you have to say, I want to put a before because you can't like put the text inside of uh, another part. So author. So you have to do all the extra work. And it, it's not always the best uh, experience. It, it, didn't, it definitely felt a lot more disconnected than Beaver Builder. So I, I know Elementor is a very popular one, but I felt Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer did this in a lot more smoother way. Uh, I was much more of a fan in, in that regard. So you can see here, I, I've, I've used a bunch of these different things uh, with those connections to output the things. And then I ended up having to do, um, in the cases of these, I always had to do <laughs> before and after content. Uh, and that, that, I felt like that was problematic. I, I'd, I'd love to insert like an editor with content in it. And so if I wanted to do that, I could do a widget or I could do a short code and stuff. And I could do that with the pods short code and, and do my magic tags and all that. But I wanted to show how it would work with Elementor itself, first party stuff. So that's how Elementor works for the bulk of the stuff here. And if I look at the editor for uh, ACF, very similar stuff as well. Um, I was not able to get the author to work at all with Elementor either. So I had very little luck. You don't even see the author come up in the fields. <laughs> so uh, that was interesting to find. Um, you can see here that the ACF section shows up there and you can then type in the that 
there. And uh, so I ended up having to use before and after for ACF as well. I generally found that the Elementor experience was heavily, it's probably one of the more different ones out of all the other ones. D Divi was kind of like the block editor in some ways. Beaver Builder was also in some ways like that. In Beaver Builder, if you looked at the, the editor, you'd see the, the plus sign at the, at the right and you'd have to drag things over. For Elementor, there's a little bit different approach here. You've got to go into the element section here and you've, you're choosing uh, an item, let's say a uh, post title, and you drag it where you want, which is fine. But then to get back there, you have to remember to come back to this area and then do that. So it, it was a little bit jarring there in that, that approach and how they've decided to do that part. And so I, I found that a little difficult. I, I didn't have um, as easy experience. <laughs> working with it. Uh, it got confusing. Sometimes I'd add stuff and I'd add it here and I'd actually be creating a new section. And I, I thought I was just adding it to the neck, the bottom part of it. So it, it got confusing, um, as I would work with it. Next, we're going to go through just a brief review of the oxygen editor, which is a lot different from all the editors we've seen so far for, for page building. 